What? What is this? That's a gift from me. Huh? For me? What's this, Mom? Were you planning a surprise for Hillary? Hee <laughs> hee, that's right. It's a special surprise gift. I felt happy and excited, eagerly opening the envelope. But what I saw inside made my eyes widen. What's inside? He asked me excitedly. Is this a divorce paper? As I said that, my husband looked at his mother in surprise. Hey, mom. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what it means. Hillary, please separate from my son. My name is Hillary Ronson. I'm a 33-year-old office worker. My husband, Jordan, and I live together in a high-rise apartment in the city. We've been married for less than a year. As newlyweds, we've been having very enjoyable days, and we've never even had a fight. I met Jordan through work. I worked hard at a company after graduating from college. Gradually, I started to be recognized for my efforts, and I was appointed as a leader for a joint project at a certain company. That's when I started working with Jordan's team from the client side. Jordan, nice to work with you from now on. Yes, likewise. Nice to meet you. When we first met, he greeted me with a smile. Boss, you seem nervous, and you're holding the documents upside down. His subordinates pointed it out, and Jordan quickly. Ah. Uh, sorry about that. And he hurriedly put the documents back in the right position. Then his team members laughed cheerfully. Jordan also joined in the laughter and said to us. We're always like this, so feel free to say anything. His attitude of trying to build an equal relationship with his subordinates even though he was a department head left a strong impression on me, and his words were reassuring to me, who was more nervous than him deep down. It didn't take long for me to be attracted to him. Jordan, based on trust in his subordinates, avoided unnecessary interference but provided strong support when difficulties arose. And he let me take charge of things that needed to be taken care of, showing my devotion. His dedication to supporting each individual in the team and addressing individual challenges was admirable. Thanks to his support, the joint project ended very successfully. The distance between Jordan and me narrowed when we held a celebration party after the project ended. Everyone was in high spirits at the party because the project was successful. In the midst of that, a young employee who had had too much to drink started teasing Jordan. Jordan. Isn't it time you found a girlfriend or a wife? It's a waste for someone as popular as you to not be married. He replied jokingly. Here, have some water. Stop drinking for today. Without forcing him, he offered a glass of water to the employee. I wondered if Jordan was also warm-hearted in his personal life, and I started to think. Well then, I'll take my leave here. Enjoy the second party without a boss. Saying that, Jordan settled the bill smartly, handed cash to the young employees for the second party, and left the store. At that moment, one of the employees picked up a glove that had fallen on the floor. Huh. This is the boss's. Oh. Then if I hurry, I might be able to catch up. I'll go deliver it. I made up my mind and tightly grasped the glove, then rushed to the station at full speed. I don't know if I became so proactive because of the alcohol or because I was eagerly awaiting the opportunity to be alone with Jordan, but I ran with my heart pounding. Jordan. Fortunately, 
I was able to find him. Huh. What's wrong? Didn't you join the second party? Actually, you forgot this. Saying that, I handed him the glove. Ah. My glove. Did you really come all the way here for this? You're really thoughtful. You could have given the glove to my subordinate and picked it up at the office on the next workday without any problem. But thank you. It was really helpful because it was so windy and cold. He showed his gratitude. But for me, this was just an excuse. It's really nerve-wracking to say it directly, but I actually like you. Huh. I gathered my courage and confessed my feelings to him. It was fortunate that there weren't many people around, but confessing love under the cold winter sky like this might have been a bit embarrassing. But at that moment, I just couldn't help but convey my feelings to him. Even if I were rejected, since the project was over, the next time I would see him would probably be for the final greetings. We might even end without seeing each other again. However, his reaction was unexpected. Really? If so, I'm very happy. He said. Why yes, of course it's true. There's no falsehood in my feelings. W8, did you just say you're happy? Yeah. If an old guy like me is okay, please go out with me. Although my heart was about to dance with joy, I managed to keep my composure. I'm also not young, but I am happy to be with you. That's how our love began. We were in a position of clients, but I'm glad I gathered the courage. We decided to keep this relationship a secret. And about six months after we started dating, he proposed to me, and we decided to get married. Before we knew it, we had gone through the wedding, honeymoon, and moving, and here we are now. With a five-year age difference and having grown up in completely different environments, Jordan and I lived together and were very happy. Perhaps it was thanks to his calm personality that we were able to have such a fulfilling newlywed life. Hey, do you have plans on the 10th of next month? While drinking beer after taking a bath, he asked me about my schedule. That's your birthday, right? Of course, I've kept it open. Great. How about going to my parents' house together? You haven't been to my parents' house since we got married. I think it's a good opportunity. Both he and I were extremely busy, and on top of that, I had been suffering from poor health recently, so I hadn't visited Jordan's parents' house since we got married. Yeah, I wanted to properly visit your parents' house once. I'm a little worried about getting on a plane while my condition is still not perfect, but I think I'll be fine by then. Ah, uh, thanks. I think mom will be happy too. I'd be really happy if she were. Actually, I had an aversion to my husband's mother. This is because during the marriage greetings, she asked detailed questions about my past relationships and even my education. Although my husband tried to intervene, he couldn't completely stop her barrage of questions. It felt like an interview, and I felt like a college student job hunting. Furthermore, after marriage, she insisted I quit my job and become a housewife, but I couldn't imagine such a life, as my work was my purpose. Although my father-in-law was present and the main focus was on the marriage greetings, I managed to bluff my way through. But thinking about the continued pressure to quit my job in the future filled me with fear. I can understand her worries as a mother who loves her son, but I just couldn't accept her from the bottom of my heart. While I thought about changing this situation, I was really busy after marriage and never had the chance to visit his parents' home due to poor health. However, 
I might be able to build a good relationship with her starting with my husband's birthday. If I've decided on that, I should also choose a gift for my mother-in-law. Shouldn't we get something for your mother too? Thank you for considering that. It really helps. I'll help you choose the gift. Thinking my husband was reliable, I drank beer with him. After considering a few options, I decided to buy some sweets that his mother liked. They were from a famous shop where you had to line up, so I was sure she would like them. As I wrapped the gift, I imagined her happy face. Of course, this would only be the beginning, but I was starting to look forward to meeting her. Then, on my husband's birthday, we took a plane from the airport. Are you feeling okay? He was considerate of me. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. That's good. The weather is nice today, and there should be little turbulence, but let me know if anything happens. Yeah, thank you. I think I'll sleep for now. Feeling reassured by his kindness and understanding, I fell asleep on the plane. And two hours later, our plane landed at our destination as scheduled. When we got out of the baggage claim with our suitcases, his mother was there. Huh. Did mom come to pick us up? Jordan called out, and his mother turned around. Then. Welcome back, Jordan. She said, embracing him tightly. Huh. Hey. Stop it. It's embarrassing in a public place like this. Gently, my husband untangled himself from her arms. You didn't have to come all the way to the airport. I would have preferred if you waited at home. Didn't I tell you on the phone? Oh, what a nonsense. I just wanted to see my son's face as soon as possible. It's been a while since I've been to this airport, right? It just finished renovations and looks quite nice now. Yeah, I was surprised. There are a few new shops too. Exactly. Are you hungry? Have you had lunch? It seemed like my mother-in-law's gaze didn't include me at all, she was just talking to my husband. But I couldn't just back down now. I had resolved to improve my relationship with her on this visit. Hello, it's been a while. Summoning up my courage, I greeted her. Then, my mother-in-law's sharp gaze caught me. Oh my, Hillary, it's been quite a while, hasn't it? I almost forgot what you looked like. Her attitude was clearly cold. I apologize deeply for being late to visit you for so long. I apologized sincerely at first. It was entirely my fault for not visiting my in-laws. So, without making excuses, I bowed deeply. Then we went to my in-laws' house in a car driven by my mother-in-law. Well, it's nice to see you both. Dad, it's been a while. Nice to see you again. Unlike my mother-in-law, my father-in-law welcomed me warmly. And when we got to the living room, I handed my mother-in-law the gift. Please accept this if you'd like. Oh, what is it? It's sweets from a famous shop. Oh, really? It seemed my mother-in-law was interested in the sweets, as she stared into the paper bag. Thank you very much. I'll have them later. Saying so, she put the sweets in the refrigerator. I've prepared a lot of dishes today for Jordan's birthday. Could you help too? Yes, of course. I followed my mother-in-law's instructions, warming up the dishes and setting the table. During that time, I wasn't specifically told anything but I think I was able to move as instructed. 
Wow! All my favorite foods are here. I worked hard on them. Please eat a lot. Thanks, Mom. Jordan, happy birthday. Father-in-law said as he presented a watch to my husband. Huh. Isn't this the one I said I wanted a long time ago? You've worked hard as a respectable working adult, got married, and shown filial piety. So, it's a gift of gratitude. Thanks, Dad. I'll treasure it. My husband was very happy, and I was too. Then, just as we were about to start the birthday celebration meal, my mother-in-law suddenly said, Oh, I almost forgot. And she handed me an envelope. What? What is this? That's a gift from me. Huh? For me? What's inside? He asked me excitedly. Is this a divorce paper? As I said that, my husband looked at his mother in surprise. Father-in-law also looked surprised as he watched my mother-in-law, so it was probably something she decided on her own. Hey, mom. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what it means. Hillary, please separate from my son. I stood frozen in shock, unable to even speak. Hey. What's the meaning of this joke? Jordan and she seem to be living happily. That's right. We've only been married for less than a year. We're happily married, so why would you want us to divorce? The father-in-law and husband raised their voices in protest to the mother-in-law. Then my husband took the divorce papers from my hand and returned them to my mother-in-law. We don't need this. Just throw it away. However, my mother-in-law was not the type to easily agree. Hillary, I'll give it to you again. Sign this. Once it's done, you can leave. And we'll celebrate Jordan's birthday with just the family. Faced with my mother-in-law's persistence, I gathered up the courage to ask a question. Could you please tell me the reason? Why are you so insistent on a divorce? My mother-in-law glared at me and said, Don't you understand the reason? Because you're not quitting your job and not having children. If you don't have a child by the end of this year, you won't be able to have one at all. And you don't even come to our house. You didn't come because you hated us, didn't you? No, that's not true. I couldn't come because of poor health. I explained like that, but it seemed my mother-in-law had already decided to kick me out. I realized it would be pointless to say more. Understood. Then I'll take my leave. Saying that, I put the divorce papers in my bag and stood up. And then Jordan stood up too. I'm leaving too. I didn't expect my mother to do something like this. I'm really disappointed. Saying that, he picked up his bag. Huh? There's no need for you to leave too. You came all the way home, so stay overnight. How can I stay in this house when my beloved wife is being insulted? You're being deceived. You'll end up unhappy. Listen to your parents. You should marry a younger, prettier woman who can have children right away. Enough already. Don't disgrace us as parents anymore. The father-in-law scolded the mother-in-law like that. You're really naive too. Do you not care if your son is unhappy? Jordan decides everything, including whether he's happy or not. Happiness is something only the person themselves can decide. Huh. I only care about my son's happiness as a mother. 
Saying that, my mother-in-law pouted. Sorry, Jordan, Hillary, for this situation. As we put on our shoes at the entrance, my father-in-law apologized like that. My father-in-law wasn't at fault, so I couldn't really accept the apology. And my husband also said, If my mother is here, I won't come back to this house. Saying that, he took me and left my in-law's house. After that, we hailed a taxi and went to the airport to arrange for tickets to return home. While waiting for the plane at a cafe, my husband's phone received a call from my mother-in-law, who kept persistently calling despite being ignored multiple times, so my husband reluctantly answered the phone. Hello, is there something else? W. Wait. Did I hear it right? Hillary, are you pregnant? Ah, uh, did you hear from dad just now? Yes, Hillary is pregnant. W-H-Y, didn't you tell me sooner? We were going to tell you, but when you suddenly did what you did, we decided not to. But in the end, there's no need to tell you now. Huh? Why? Because we're cutting ties with you. Even if a child is born, we'll only let dad see them. We don't want to see you anymore, forcing a divorce like this. Th that's. I thought you weren't going to have children, so I pushed for the divorce. It's strange to take such actions. Even if we forgive you now, you'll probably find another reason to harass Hillary, right? I, I wouldn't do such a thing. I can't trust you anymore. I value Hillary the most. That's why we're cutting ties with you. Wait, Jordan, please. I could hear my mother-in-law crying. She seemed quite desperate. But it's her own fault. I never want to see my mother-in-law again. And then... My husband hung up the phone without a word and blocked his mother's number. By the way, it seems my father-in-law also had enough of my mother-in-law. Afterwards, he handed her divorce papers and kicked her out. It's really ridiculous that the mother-in-law who tried to divorce me ended up getting divorced herself. Several months later, I safely gave birth to a baby. My husband and I went to see my father-in-law with calm hearts. My father-in-law was very happy, playing with his grandchild. We decided to visit my in-laws regularly to show our child to them. By the way, my mother-in-law is currently living alone in a shabby apartment, working part-time. If she had been kinder to me, she could have lived comfortably in their spacious house. But she's really beyond help. It's all her own fault. Forgetting about my mother-in-law, I want to continue living happily with my husband and focus on raising our child together. Thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.